Are you having frame rate issues in Guild Wars 2? Of course you are. Let's see if we can fix that, shall we? Hey guys, Casual Critic here, and today we'll be looking at trying to improve the frame rate of the game Guild Wars 2. And we'll be doing that with a tool called D912PXY. D912PXY is a wrapper of the game that tries to convert all the DirectX 9 commands into DirectX 12 commands. And as DirectX 12 is a lot newer than our DirectX 9, in which Guild Wars 2 was built, a lot of optimizations have been done over the years, so that should theoretically run a lot smoother. However, because the game itself is not running in DirectX 12 and it needs to be converted, a lot of performance or the theoretical performance will of course be lost doing this. So will that actually work? Is it worth it? Let's have a look. What I saw from using this modification was around a 10% increase in frames a second in most of the areas. Some areas showed a bigger improvement and as you can see in the intro up to double the frame rate which of course is amazing and some areas didn't really show any improvement whatsoever. However that said the extension did show me a reduce in the amount of frame drops. So even if the game would be running at 30 frames a second in regular mode, it would sometimes drop to 10 frames a second. And that would immediately be noticeable as stutter. Using this extension mostly eliminates this problem and the game appears to be running a lot smoother, even though the frame rate isn't that much higher in some cases. But again, as I said, in most cases, on top of that you would get around a 10% increase in frames a second, if not more. Mileage may vary, however, because it's highly dependent on what kind of gear you are running this game on. Obviously, you have to have a compatible video card that actually can run DirectX 12 instead of DirectX 9. So that's the first thing you have to check. Other than that, you should be good. Installing this is very easy and uninstalling it, also very important, is exactly as easy. So there is really no reason not to give this a go. You just download the D912PXY zip file, unpack it into your Guild Wars 2 folder next to the .exe so that you get the D912PXY folder next to the Guild Wars 2 .exe. In that folder you have an install.exe, you run that, basically you hit enter a couple of times and then you're done. If you are using other plugins at the same time, you may have to change what buttons you press during the installation process, although everything is clearly described so it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. What D912PXY does basically is calculate all the shaders, all the effects once and store them on a disk. So if it sees the same effect twice, it can reuse what it's already calculated before. That does mean, however, that every time it encounters a new effect or a new shader, it has to calculate it up front. And that means that after you've installed this fresh, it doesn't have any shaders cached whatsoever. So that will result in the game looking weird, worse performance, but do note that this is only of temporary nature and will fix itself eventually. If you want to speed up the process, you can also download an already compiled pack of these shaders and effects and put that in the designated folder in the D912PXY folder. Just go in there, search for the folder called pack or PCK and put that file in there. I'll include the download link in the description. Setting this up couldn't be any easier and I do feel that everyone should give this a try. I hope this was useful and I hope you guys give it a try. Let me know in the comments whether it worked for you or not and have fun playing Guild Wars 2. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.